Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Last few months, we received a software upgrade for our beloved Samsung S10e. And one subscriber asked me if he'll stay on Android 10 or upgrade. I felt that the question is more for performance. So I decided to play around with Android 11 and create tips and tricks to make it faster. I really feel it's super snappy, but to make it ridiculously fast, I compiled 6 things that we can do to make it faster. A. Don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! The first thing to do is to remove the animation as it makes the transition slower. Sure, it looks good but it also makes the phone a little slow to react when navigating on the home screen. So we go to settings, accessibility, vision enhancements, and scroll down to remove animations and turn that on. You will notice that the home screen removes the animation and the transition is super fast. The second thing to do is removing the Samsung Free on the home screen. So the Samsung Free screen is the direct copy of Google Cards, and 99% of the time we don't need it. It is confusing because when you accidentally swipe left, you cannot go back by simply swiping right. You need to click the home button. To remove this, click on a free space on the home screen, swipe left, and you will see the toggle for the Samsung Free. Just switch it off. And now, you don't have to worry about it. The third thing to do is reassigning the Bixby button. Currently, it is set to single press. And if we accidentally click it, it will always open the annoying Bixby page. We're not totally switching it off. We're just reassigning it to double click. To do this, go to settings and search for Bixby. Click the Bixby key. And then choose double press to open Bixby. You still have it if you need it. But now you have to click twice. It won't be accidental touch now. The fourth thing to do is to enable the swipe down notification panel. If you have smaller hands, this is the hardest thing to do in one hand. And it takes a little bit of hand gymnastics to pull down the notification panel. To enable this, go to settings, home screen, and turn on swipe down for notification panel. Now it is so much easier and faster to pull down that notification tray and check your alerts. The fifth trick is to assign your Bixby single click to open your most used app. This will allow you to open your most used app in a split second. To do this, go to settings, search for Bixby, and reassign the single click. I'm currently assigning it to camera, but let's change it to Facebook. Now whenever you press the Bixby button, it will open up your most used or favorite app. In my case, it's Facebook. And our last tip for you is to free up the memory space once a day or once in a while whenever you feel like the phone is slowing down. To do this, go to Settings, Battery and Device Care, you can simply click Fix now. Or click on Memory and click on Clean Now. This will clear your memory cache and will certainly give you a boost whenever you open new apps. Our Samsung S10e received Android 11 a few months back and still a snappy phone. And by doing these tips and tricks, it will make it so much faster. If you want to receive more cool tips and tricks for your Samsung S10e or any related videos about it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We're creating more videos for your Samsung S10e. And as always, if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing. I will post daily videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, rumors, and leaks. 
The goal of the channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly. And keeping you updated with the latest happenings around the tech world. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.